Hi, I'm Laura Heritage. When building an API or an application, teaming becomes very important. You need to have access to and be able to control access to assets and information about that API or application. When you go to production, teaming becomes even more important because you need to maintain that operational state of that API um, or application and it takes a team to do so. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use SOA Software's API Management Solutions teaming capabilities to help you manage and build your APIs and applications. So let's go. I'm currently logged in as Laura Heritage, who is the team lead uh, responsible for building the MyGift app. Uh, I'm looking at the MyGift app right now. I can see all the details about the, the application, the app ID. I can look at the keys and the OAuth details. I can see um, if there was anybody rated the app for something. I can edit it, version it, export the configuration. You name it, I can do it. I can see that I've got, um, we're using two different APIs. We're using Wishlist API and Store Locator API in this application. And then I also can see which team members are a part of this. Right now, there's just three of us, uh, myself, Sam, and Sydney. We're going to bring on a new team member. So what I'm going to do is click on the Teaming tab. I'm going to say Invite More. And I'm going to put Reese, bring Reese on. Now Reese has sent a Gmail saying that he has a, a action pending. If he has an account with the Acme Developer Portal, he'll get a notification on his dashboard. All right, now I'm Reese and I am logging in. I'm already a member of the Developer Portal. I'm going to log in using my Gmail account. I was already logged into Gmail, so it signed me right in. Um, as you can see, I log into my dashboard and I have the, um, an alert waiting for me. I've been invited to the My Gift app by Laura Heritage. Now, let's go take a look at the My Gift app. Without accepting the invite, when I go to the My Gift app, because it is a public app, uh, when Laura created it, she made it public, um, so I can see some basic information about the, the My Gift app right now and I can uh, view its message board and um, I can only see the things that are pertain to me um, and that are open discussion on the message board but you know I can see some things so let's go back to my dashboard and let's accept the invitation let's join the my gift app say happy to join the team and I'm gonna confirm so now I have confirmed that I, I will join the team. So when I click back on the My Gift app, I'll now get more information about the app. I'll be able to see the team members that are, are developing on it. I can see um, you know the APIs that are being used. I, and I just have more information to go on. I can also have access to the dev console so I can test um, each of the APIs that were belonged to. I can monitor the app. Again, this is very important from, uh, from a design and development perspective, but also when you get to the point of uh, being in production with this app, you'll be able to see and, and help from an operational perspective. You can, uh, right now we only have access to the sandbox environment, but you can switch between uh, what the metrics are on the production or this the, the sandboxing environment. You got all sorts of charts um, and uh, things that you can use for tools to help you debug. You have direct access to the logs um, for the calls that you've made. For example, here is our, our get wishes um, one of the calls that we made and how long it took and you can go in and inspect it. So very powerful tool. And that completes our basic tour of teaming. Thank you for watching the fourth video in SOA Software's API Management video series. This video was on SOA Software's teaming capabilities. Please stay tuned for other videos in this series. If you'd like a free trial of SOA Software's solution, you can find that at SOA.com. 
Thanks again and see you next time.